Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of the Eastbourne Fisherman. Today I've come down to Pevensey Bay. We're going to have a quick go uh, around here. Uh, I'll say a quick go, I'm going to actually be here all night. Uh, so I'm going to fish night into day tonight. Uh, really looking forward to it. I've got tons of bait. Uh, my idea is to go big on one rod. Um, well actually, go big on one rod and go small on the other. And you know, just see what happens. Maybe I'll go two big baits in the middle of the night. Um, you know, and we'll see if we can try and winkle a fish out or two. Uh, so yeah, wish me luck. I'll show you what baits we got and we'll get rigged up get the rods cast out and then uh, you know, hopefully be able to see if we can actually bag some fish tonight. Right, so in the way of bait tonight we've got some oiled and salted lug uh, from Tony's Tackle in Eastbourne, which have been pretty good bait for actually people over the last couple of days. So we've got a couple of packs of them. Um, we've got a couple of bluey, a mackerel, some squid, and some frozen black lug as well, uh, just as a backup. Uh, my plan is, like I said, uh, one rod, a pulley panel rig, um, two circle hooks, big one on the bottom, small one on the top, um, and then maybe a free flapper for the first part of the session. So uh, I'll show you how I'm going to do that. All right, so the first rig we got there is a free hook flapper. Uh, we're just going to go with you know, some small size two hooks uh, to scratch around with. So what I'm going to do is just going to get some of the oiled and salted lug, we're going to cut it up to smallish pieces, and then we're just going to use some of that. There's one, two there. And three there. I'll use that bit there actually just to tip them on the hooks. I'm gonna push them on. And just three of those really small, nice little lug baits. Just to scratch around and see if there's anything about. There's nice small baits. Uh, on this rig I'm going to actually use a rolling lead uh, to search out some of the fish. Oh, that's getting a bit windy now. Maybe I'll choose to grip lead. Now we'll go for a rolling lead first just to start the, start the session off. Um, I personally like these ones. These are shore cast bucket leads. Uh, what they do is they hit the water and then they have the, they, uh, they have the option to just you know roll around in the tide like that. That's going to be my first rig. Uh, nice simple free it flapper. Just a oiled and salted lug from Tony's tackle one. That's going to be my first option. Um, the second rig I'm going to use is actually going to be uh, weighted down with a grip lead. So this is just a yellow grip lead. Um, and I'm going to use, if I can find out where I put it, uh, this rig here. So this is just a really simple pulley rig. Um, it has an aero pulley at the top, which is their trident tackle aero pulley. Uh, and then it just runs down into a weight clip there with a bead. Uh, on the other side, it just runs down, no swivel, just a bead, and then the, the business end there, the two hooks. So you've got a big 4 circle hook there, and then just a smaller 2 circle hook at the top, which is there. Um, the line all the way through is just amnesia 40 pound. Like I said, there's no swivel, it's just one piece of line continuously from the weight clip to the hooks. I found that this works better for me, um, and uh, that's what I've been, I've been using for the last couple of weeks. Uh, on this rod, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bait up a whole squid. Uh, so I'm just going to get that ready and then I'll show you how we're going to do that. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I bait this up from start to finish. Here is the squid. Um, Use my panel rig, so I've obviously pushed the, uh, the top circle right out of the way, which is up here. And then I've got the uh, larger circle at the bottom there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by removing the two flaps on the top of the squid's head. Or the top of the squid, should I say. There, get rid of that. Then I'm just going to take my circle hook and I'm going to go into the squid from the top and out. Oop. It's frozen so it's not very good. No, nope, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to take my hook and I'm going to go into the squid there. And then out. Pull that through. In and out. Pull that through. couple of times it's easier with a uh, squid when it's not frozen then what I'm gonna do I want that hook to come out through the through the actual eyes and sit like that what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna whip that up using my bait elastic so I was a bit of a rush tonight to get out so unfortunately I haven't defrosted the squid I've just thrown it in salt water but uh, usually you want to do it, it works really well you can get that hook in and out the body of the squid couple of times 
and then uh, back through the bottom next to the uh, next to the head, and it seems to hold all nice and well. But unfortunately, because we're on camera tonight, it's decided to be a bit annoying. <laughs> and I, just, I use it, so some people fold the fold the head up. I mean, you can leave it for hanging down. It's up to you. So on this occasion, we're going to turn the circuit round. We'll fold the head up. Just so that's nice and tight on the bottom. Like Just so you can see the hook point. And again, I like to do my uh, wraps around a couple of ways that way, a couple of ways this way, just to hold that hook right in secure at the bottom so it doesn't slip out. And what we're going to do, that's the bottom hook there, it's in there, right at the bottom, so I hope you can see that. And then the top hook, we just slide down, wrap it around the line a couple of times, slide it down to the bait, and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to nick that in the top of the bait. Uh, the, re the reverse way and then pull the line back up to pull everything nice and tight and that there is my squid bait I'm going to get the baits out now and I'll keep you updated um, how we get on through the evening right guys so I just reeled into my first couple of fish um, I missed a big bite on the um, on the squid which is a bit of a pain in the backside and the bait was all blown up and uh, well, it had been had but uh, yeah, first couple of fish of the night, a couple of white in there. After a couple of sessions of not seeing a fish, uh, yeah, having a couple of white in, um, it's pretty cool. Uh, not the target fish that I wanted tonight, but you know, uh, fish is a fish. So yeah, we'll get them on hook, get them back in and carry on the session. Right guys, so we're smacked back in to another little fish. Uh, again on a three hook flapper, small, small hook, size two, uh, another little white in. So yeah, we're beating the blank, so that's really, really cool. Uh, now we're looking for the bigger fish. Right guys, so I bang into another fish, and would you Adam and Eve it, it is another whiting. So yeah, whiting number four, they're getting slightly bigger, uh, which is pretty cool. I might have a couple of them for some fish cakes uh, later on during the week. Uh, so yeah, whiting number four. Um, one rod's still out on a big bluey bait. Nice big bluey bait. Uh, the other rod's still on a freak flapper. We're still scratching around, so we can try and find out if there's any other fish here. Maybe some sole or some other you know, fish. A nice pout would be nice to go with the fish cakes. Um, and yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens with the rest of the night. But yeah, a couple of fish, four in the bag so far. Let's see if we can try and uh, get some more out. Right on guys, so we're back into another fish. White in number five. Again, like I said, they're getting a bit bigger now, so I can take these ones home for fish cakes. Um, and hopefully I'll do a fish cakes video for you guys uh, in the next couple of weeks or so. So yeah, rock on. Right on guys, so uh, we are still fishing. Um, Round about, I think it's around about 11 o'clock now. Let's double check. Yeah, so just gone 11 o'clock. Uh, the tide is actually on the uh, on the way out at the moment. It's uh, high top is nine o'clock, so we're two hours into the tide out. Um, had a couple of uh, white in start off the session, which was nice. Um, so <laughs> the last couple of sessions I've been out have been absolutely diabolical. Uh, fished with Cliff. Um, I think it was like the last session that was windy as as anything and we didn't have nothing which was you know annoying so it's nice to see the rod rattling a little bit even if it is whiting um, yeah so um, what am I doing at the moment then so um, I've got a big bait out at the moment so one big bluey bait uh, put a line oh there we go but oh, yeah. something like this oh there we go yeah so I've got one big bluey bait out at the moment still uh, just you know, half a bluey um, and then I've got some uh, just small uh, three hook flapper rigs uh, which I baited a couple of them up actually just so I can you know, clip them on and off quickly uh, if the fishing you know, gets good. Um, I'm using Tony's oiled, oiled and salted uh, lugworm uh, from Tony's Tackle Shop in Eastbourne. It seems to be uh, you know, pr pretty good. It seems to be uh, you know, getting fish, which is cool. Um, yeah. I have to say, I'm really enjoying using the new uh, Tronics Pro Rod that I got from the Angler's Den as well. Um, the Gorilla Surf uh, 4.2. Um, in three piece Conti rod absolutely fantastic um, and say so for the price you, you can't really go wrong really uh, showing the little white bites really nice it's got a nice little rattle to the top of it uh, really good bite indication yeah I'm really happy with it it was a really good purchase so uh, yeah fishing's gone a bit slow um, oh there's another little rattle a couple more little rattles there, so I'm just gonna have a look, see what we got on the end of the rod. Um, 
Yeah, it's definitely rattling in the way. It's probably another whiting. So I think we're about five whiting in now. Um, I'll put two in the bucket to take home for fish cakes, which is cool. Um, hopefully we can try and get through the whiting and pull out uh, you know, another species of fish. I'll keep you posted as the night goes on. Right, so I both rigged both rods going at the same time then. I thought it slowed down, but uh, unfortunately not. So there's one there, there's another two there. So, uh, like, a little, like a little baby's mobile uh, with a little white in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, geez. Yeah, it's going to be one of them nights, I think. Um, too small this one, too small this one, this one here at the bottom. An absolutely lovely fish. It's a lovely white in anyway. So, that, one, that one's going to come home uh, with the others. For the fish cakes, so yeah. This is. <laughs> well, I think I think we're on about. I think this is five, six, seven, eight, maybe eight or nine white and so far. So yeah. Uh, rock and roll. Right, then, guys. I've actually done it, and I've done it on my new rod. So I'm absolutely over the moon. Um, yeah, I just pulled this baby in. Absolutely cracker. I'm really chuffed. Really, really chuffed. It's a codlin. So yeah, this is my target of fish that I was looking for today. And um, let's just get some more. That's a bit better. Yeah, that's a bit better. So this is the target fish I was looking for today. Um, uh, codlin. Absolutely chuffed with this. Really, really happy. Uh, so yeah, this one's going to be a keeper. So yeah, really happy. Beautiful, stunning looking fish. Uh, again, chrism and new rod. Uh, I've had a couple of whiting on the new rod, but this really, really, you know, pulled the pulled the rod around a little bit. And uh, yeah, really happy with it. I thought it was a bass when I was reading it in, but uh, yeah, nice codling. So that was a really good surprise and a really, really good start to the evening. So yeah, let's see what else the evening brings. Woo! Right, guys, so smack bang into another fish. Uh, this time we got a pout. It's quite a nice little pout, actually. Quite a nice big pout. I'm going to actually measure this one. Um, let's have a look. Let's see how big he is. It's quite a nice pout. Uh, 30. Okay, it's 33 centimetres. I'll split the camera around so you can have a look. Um, well, actually, I'll take a still picture and I'll post it up on the uh, on the video. Yeah, 30, 30, 33 centimetres. Wicked. Right then, guys. Boom. We're back into another one of my favourite little fish, whiting. So, yep. I think we're now to double figure whiting. I've uh, kind of stopped counting. <laughs> the tide is uh, still going out. Uh, time is roughly uh, minute, it's half half twelve. It's gone quick. I think the lows are at three o'clock, and then we'll fish it in for a couple of hours before I nip home to get some breakfast. Yeah, having a really good night tonight. Um, and you know, quite a few whiting, uh, one large pout, which was nice, and a codlin as well. My first ever codlin. So um, yeah, absolutely chuffed. Really chuffed with that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, didn't didn't think that we would actually. I was targeting them. Um, well, actually, to be fair, I wasn't targeting them. I did want a codlin, uh, and I knew that people were catching them from the area that I'll come tonight. But I was actually fishing for sole uh, on the small size four hooks with um, the, with a small bit of lug worm. Yeah, um, yeah, crazy. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is going to get this little white back in the sea, uh, keep them, hopefully, keep them alive, um, and then we will continue the fishing. Right then guys, so I've had a couple of fish and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change to uh, to this rig. So it's uh, actually a running ledger rig, so you've got the sliding bit there for the weight to move freely around. And then I've just got two hooks at the bottom, nice big hook there, and a small hook for the top. Uh, which is going to be my running ledger panel rig. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a whole squid on this and just cast it out um, and see if anything takes that. So yeah, um, let's have a go and let's... Uh, find out and see, see what happens if you guys do want to make your own rigs don't forget to check out my rig making section uh, which is actually in the playlist on the channel so cheers guys right guys so i'm banging to another fish and would you believe it actually 
Ooh, a second cod then. Absolutely over the moon. Really, really over the moon tonight. Yeah. Uh, not only have I managed to bag one codlin, I managed to bag two in the same session. So yeah, uh, really, 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 really good. Really, really good. Uh, this one's coming out at, um, where we have it? At 46. Again, I'll put another still on uh, just to show you. Um, and then hopefully we'll get a picture of uh, both of them together. Yeah, I'm really, really happy. Absolutely manic evening. Really, really fantastic. I had a good feeling about tonight. I was going to go lure fishing um, tomorrow morning. But now something says to me, come to the beach, uh, and I'll come to the beach tonight. Unfortunately, I missed out on the lure fishing, which I definitely need to get. Right, guys, so here they are. Uh, two codlin. Two codlin. So, yeah, I'm really, really chuffed with tonight. Absolutely chuffed. It is going to make some nice, uh, nice, uh, <laughs> nice codlin chips. I'm absolutely really over the moon. Really, really happy really happy right guys so again we've done it we've bagged another one uh, this is cod number three cuddling number three this one's huge this one's coming in at 50 centimeters uh, so I'm really happy with this one uh, this, this is the third codlin tonight now um, just picked a really good spot um, <laughs> I'm absolutely chuffed really really chuffed um, yeah I'll put a still up of the uh, of the size after this bit of the video just so you can see but yeah, another absolutely cracking fish. Wicked. Right then guys, so I just thought I'd give you a quick update. It's around about four in the morning now. Um, getting a bit sleepy. Uh, just trying to keep going. Um, got some fizzy pop. Digested biscuits. So uh, yeah. Just uh, chilling out at the moment. Just waiting for that tide to turn. Um, I'll say low tide is about four o'clock. It's about four, four ten at the moment. So just on the turn, coming back up. Go fish it a couple of hour, couple of hours back up, um, and then hopefully watch the sunrise. That was the plan. But so far, I mean, it's been a good, it's been a great session. Really good fun. Picked a really good spot tonight. couple of lads next to me um, well one lad had two, two codlin it's been pretty busy down this night a couple of lads on the other side pulling in a couple of white and bits and pieces um, so yeah I'm pretty happy with the three at the moment three codlin two 46's I think it was and a 150 centimetre so yeah that's really really good really chuffed for that um, been pulling in quite a lot of white in uh, and one pout at the moment, so yeah. And I was targeting salt to start with. The cod that I've had have been it's been really strange. Everyone said you know use big baits, big lug baits for cod. Nah, I was I was using just a three hook flapper uh, with size number two hooks, a really small lug bait. Um, don't know what I've got any. Don't know. Yeah, just a really small lug, like f f thumbnail size even, or not thumbnail size, <clears throat> just that bit of the, of the thumb size, really small, about an, just over an inch big, and uh, yeah, yeah, just been catching them on that, um, I tried them with squid, uh, tipping them off with squid, but um, they seem to like just, just a lug on its own, or well, they have tonight anyway, uh, so my plan is, Carry on the same method. Um, let's see if I can try and find the rig to show you. Oops, there. So this is the rig I've been using. Uh, just really, really short snoods. A uh, three hook flapping rig. Uh, two above the lead. Obviously one below the lead. Let's see if I can try and get all this untangled now. Whenever you put it down, it always goes tangled. Morning, boys and girls. Uh, how are we all doing? So I made it through the night. It's, uh, it's, it's been a pretty cold one, actually. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be this cold. It's quite bittery cold sort of this morning. 
I've got a right chill running through me and I'm wearing a couple of layers um, so yeah note to self I put some extra thermals on um, maybe some thermal bottoms as well just while it's uh, cold got a really crisp uh, like, like frosty feel to this morning which is quite nice fishing's completely dead um, all the fish I've had today uh, have been on the um, the ebb uh, all the way through right well, to the end of the ebb um, I think the time's about I don't know, I don't know. I think, I think I've lost all consciousness of the time um, let me have a look uh, the time now is 5.44 so it's nearly 6 o'clock uh, sunrise is about 10 past 6 um, still on the two rods, still got two rods out but I say nothing has happened really the rods have remained still uh, for a good couple of hours now I was hoping to bag another fish on the way in uh, but you know, we'll see what happens other than that we've had a pretty good session I mean I feel we've had double figures of whiting pout into 32 centimetres and three uh, codlin which has been you know, first for me <clears throat> well, when well, I first reeled in the first codling, I mean that, that, was, that was good enough for me but uh, to bag a second and then, and then a third as well you know, that's, that's been a blinding, blinding night really really good fun So yeah, we're still working on the same kind of process. Um, I've got a running ledger on one rod, which with a whole squid. Um, you know, just to hopefully try and pick up a bass in the last couple of hours that we're here. Uh, and then on the other rod, we've just gone for the same free up flapper, small luck baits, tipped with a tiny bit of squid. And that seems to be doing most of the business today. Um, or the lug worm on its own, actually, uh, has been catching me the, um, the codling. And that was from Tony's tackle, um, oiled and salted lug. So yeah, cheers Tony. Just keeping me on the rod tips, I think I'll have to reel in and change the bait in a minute. But it's bloody cold though, Whoa. Jeez. Might start bringing some, uh, some warm drinks on these overnight stops. If you are going out overnight, just make sure you wrap up warm and, uh, and keep safe. Alright, and I'll keep you updated, guys. Um, I'm going to grab a biscuit and a drink, uh, change the bait over, <clears throat> and then fish it out for the last hour and a bit. Right, then, guys, so I've actually made it into the morning, which is pretty cool. Um, 12 hours fishing uh, stint so yeah pretty good uh, the sea has turned a kind of like chocolatey colour brown doesn't look great and uh, there's no weed which is a bonus um, the last couple of sessions I've had especially the one with Harry Jesus the, the weed was horrendous absolutely horrendous pulling in massive clumps of it uh, yeah so I'm just going to flip the camera around and show you just a nice sun uh, just breaking through the clouds up over there on the tripod the uh, Tronics Pro Gorilla surf the rod that's pulled in uh, most of the fish tonight uh, the other big baits have just remained untouched so yeah absolutely nice view over there really nice view yeah so I mean all the big baits have been untouched. The baits have been doing the business tonight. It's just a, just a small small lug worm, really really small, size two hooks. A free hook flapper, just cast out like normal, medium distance. Just seems to have worked wonders tonight. 
So I've got another I've got about another hour left of the session. I'll keep you guys updated and let you know how we get on for that last hour. But I think I'm ready for a for a nap. I'm a bit tired. <laughs> That's been quite a long night and trying to trying to stay awake through the night has been a bit difficult. But we've done it. And we've got some good results which I'm really proud of. Right on guys, so uh, that's the end of the session. Uh, we did it, we caught not one. Not two. But three. Fantastic. Cod. Or should I say codling. Um, all on lug, all and salted from Tony's tackle. And they were all caught on my new Gorilla rod, which I purchased from the um, Angler's Den in Eastbourne. So yeah, absolutely fantastic cracking section. I'll just swing the camera around and I'll show you these uh, lovely fish. Right on guys, so my lovely fish. Um, I'm going to take them back home and hopefully have some cod and chips later on. Right on guys, so thanks very much for watching another episode of the Eastbourne Fisherman. That is me, done and out. I'm absolutely cream crackered. Um, that will definitely be a session that I'll remember for a long time. Thanks very much for joining me guys and I'll see you soon. Cheers.